Hey, this is Chia from Brand24, and today I'm going to show you how social media monitoring works and the different ways that you can benefit from it. So, let's get started. First of all, monitoring different keywords in social media and on the internet makes finding public mentions in any topic quick and easy. Media monitoring tools like Brand24 allow you to access all of these mentions from inside a single dashboard, even if they're from different channels like social media, blogs, forums, news sites, and more. To help you get a better sense of social media and media monitoring, I'm going to walk you through some basic features of a tool like Brand24 now. After you've registered for free trial, log into your account. You can do that from the upper right hand corner of the homepage at Brand24.com. If you haven't already created any projects and this is your first time logging in, you'll see the new project wizard. All you have to do is enter your keywords or phrases. Remember to use commas between each entry and click on next. Select the language you want to monitor and you've just created your first project. Now, if your brand name or other keywords aren't very unique or you'd like to enter more specific details, you can easily create a more advanced project. After you've entered your keywords or phrases, click on more settings instead of next. Require keywords to keywords that need to appear in addition to your general keywords. They help you narrow down your results. This is especially handy when your brand name isn't super unique. For example, if you wanted to monitor Hotel Felix, you would enter Felix as a general keyword and Hotel as a required keyword. This makes it so that only results that contain both your general keyword and your required keyword will appear in your project. An important thing to remember is that your required keyword does not have to appear next to your general keyword to be included in your results. You can enter several required keywords in a project, but every single one must appear within a single mention to be collected by the tool. Excluded keywords are keywords that cannot appear in the mention for it to be collected in your results. This is super helpful when your brand name is used in many contexts. For example, if you wanted to monitor the brand Dove, you would enter Dove as a general keyword and maybe Cameron as an excluded keyword. This would exclude any mentions of very popular actress Dove Cameron while you monitor the brand Dove. When you define required keywords or excluded keywords, you also need to name your project. So just enter a name for your project in the right space. Click on save and you're done. You've created an advanced project. Now, just in case you've already created a project, then once you log into your account, you'll be taken to a list of all the projects that you have access to. You can see the name of each project, the number of new mentions that you've collected since your last login, and the date the project was created. From here, you can also delete a project altogether or edit your project settings, including any required, excluded, or general keywords that you defined earlier. So now let's go inside a project. This is your project dashboard, and it is where you can access your mentions and various other features of the tool. One of the first things you see is a line graph that's based on your data. You can view up to five different statistics here, including your total number of mentions, estimated social media reach, as well as your total number of likes, shares, and comments. Estimated social media reach represents the number of views that each mention has received or the number of impressions that you've gotten for your keywords. You're automatically shown data from the past 30 days by default, but you can easily change that from the calendar in the upper right hand corner. Analyze data over a matter of days, weeks, or months, and you can even save your defined date range. So the next time you log in, you don't have to find a specific time period again. This lets you get a quick visual on any changes that may have occurred over longer or shorter periods of time. A graph like this is super helpful because it gives you a really good visual on specific aspects of your data, especially over certain periods of time. A lot of users use the line graph to gauge how well their social media marketing campaigns are doing and also to see how much buzz or brand awareness each campaign has been able to generate. They also use it to keep an eye on any potential PR crises that could have come up. Directly below the line graph is where you can see how many mentions you've collected and where they're located on the web. This first box displays your total number of mentions for your keywords. The next boxes show you how many mentions are from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blogs, forums, news sites, videos, and a number of other sources. Check any boxes to display mentions from those sources below. Uncheck any boxes to not display mentions from those sources. Below this area, you'll find each and every mention of your keywords. Looking at any mention, we can see that each one contains a number of options. 
If you click on Engage, this takes you to the original location of that particular mention. Most often, this is social media, but it also includes blogs, forums, and news and media sites. The Engage button lets you interact directly with that mention, so you can like, comment on, or share it with your network. Look at the mention you just clicked on. It now contains an icon that looks a bit like an eye over in the corner. This lets you know that you've already clicked on this mention, so you can move on to the next one. Now, what other options do you have for each mention? Well, next to the Engage button, there's the History button. The History button shows you every mention that your project has collected from this particular author. Next is the Group button. This lets you group or organize your mentions by tagging them. You can create categories by urgency like angry customers, potential customers, or customer questions. The Delete button lets you delete individual mentions or block the site they come from. In some cases, it can be helpful to mute your own profile so you don't collect mentions you've generated yourself. If you hover over more, you'll find even more options. You can mark your mentions as you go through them. This will make them easier for you to find later and you can assign them to specific team members or put them in different groups. You can also email the mention to yourself or other members of your team and mute any site that seems to be a source of spam. And just in case the sentiment algorithm didn't catch the sarcasm in a mention, you can go ahead and manually change the sentiment of the mention here. Other figures show you how many followers an author has, the number of monthly visits that a website gets, the number of likes that a particular mention has received, how many times it was shared, and the amount of comments it got. Each mention has an influencer score. Scores are assigned by our algorithm and are based on an author's number of mentions, the amount of followers they have, and their typical visibility percentage or the number of views that their content usually receives. This can show you who are the top influencers or key opinion leaders who talk about your brand or whatever keywords you may be tracking. You can see the date on which each mention was found on the upper right hand corner. If you don't like the format in which it's displayed, you can change it by going to Account Settings and then Edit User Settings. Now you know where to find your mentions and the information that they contain. You can also apply different filters to your data or to your mention. You'll find them in the side menu on your right. The Sentiment filter is the first one you see. Move the bar to the left to view any negative mentions. See how the numbers to the left change when you do that? Now it shows you how many negative mentions you have. Move the sentiment bar to the right to see any positive mentions, and it will also show you how many positive mentions you have. Keeping the bar in the middle displays all mentions. You can also expand your line graph to show the sentiment of your mentions over time. Just click on the Show Sentiment button in the upper left-hand corner of the line graph. Below the sentiment bar, you have the filter for influencer score, which lets you view mentions from the most influential people on a scale of 1 to 10. I'll talk a little bit more about influencer score later. Below that, just click on See Additional Filters for more options. You can filter by the number of interactions and see mentions that have more than 10 likes, 5 shares, or 3 comments. The numbers are totally up to you. Filtering by the number of visits lets you see mentions from different websites based on the number of visits they get. You can filter by domain to only see mentions that come from domains that you're interested in. Filtering by author shows you mentions that come from designated authors. Using the group filter shows you the mentions you've already tagged, like in that method I showed you earlier by clicking on groups from an individual mention. And similar to that, filtering by marks shows you the mentions that you already marked as you were going through your individual mentions. Below that, you can also arrange your mentions in different ways according to when they were created or when they were found. And here you can choose to view just the new entry since your last visit, as well as only mentions that you've clicked on or mentions that you have not clicked on. When you found a combination or a particular set of filters for a project that you find really useful, it's a good idea to save it by clicking on Save Current Filter. Saving it and naming it lets you come back to it easily. You can then apply it to your project later with just one click, even as you collect new mentions. Another helpful feature is the Set Additional Email Alert. Enter your email address or your team members and receive email notifications whenever you collect new mentions that apply to your filters. This lets you get important mentions directly inside your inbox. Okay, so now that you know where to find your data, basic info about your mentions and how to apply different filters, you'll also want to know about the different ways that you can export this data. On the left-hand side of your dashboard, you have three options. 
PDF report, data export, and infographic. Click on infographic to get a simple and quick overview of your data. If you applied filters, you'll see the data with the filters. The infographic presents a lot of information in a way that's really easy to absorb for you and for any other team members. Now click on PDF report. This presents your information in a more formal way that you can use in meetings and proposals. Plus, the PDF report has more options for customization. You can add comments to the report, choose a color, and even add your own logo. This is what your PDF report will look like. The first page shows the title of the report and the time frame. The next page displays your logo if you've uploaded one. And next you can see your data, which is much more detailed than what you get in an infographic. The third way to export your data is in Excel or CSV format. Click on Data Export to see what this looks like. So, as you can see, all of your data from the project is listed on the sheet. It's ready for import into a CRM, or you can apply deeper analyses using Excel. Just in case you already knew all this, we have a number of other video tutorials that show you how to use individual features of the tool right on our YouTube channel. Otherwise, let's take a deeper look into our data by clicking on the Analysis tab on the right-hand side of your project dashboard. The Analysis tab is where you can find your most significant mentions automatically. If your project has collected hundreds or even thousands of mentions, it can take a while to go through all of them. Clicking on the Analysis tab saves you time by showing you all your most significant mentions according to different factors. Up top, you can see mentions listed by popularity. These are the mentions with the most likes, comments, and shares, telling you how engaged their audiences are. Click on the most popular authors to see mentions from, well, popular authors. They might have mentioned you 20 times or maybe just once, but they have huge followings for absorbing their content. It's a good idea to see if any influential or popular authors have been talking about you and whether they've been doing this in a positive or negative light. To the right side of this list, you have a quick display of all your major KPIs for any social media campaign. You can see all of this from your analysis tab, but um, I'll just name a few. This includes your total number of results, your estimated social media reach, number of likes, shares, and comments, and more. You can see percentage values for your positive and negative mentions too. So you can quickly check to see that your brand has more positive than negative mentions overall. Scroll down to see your mentions by category. This tells you the number as well as the percentage of mentions that you have from different sources like Facebook, Twitter, and blogs. This is important for several reasons. If you notice that most of your mentions are coming from one particular source like, say, Twitter, you might decide to offer more comprehensive customer service on that channel or you could do more advertising and marketing there. Since this is where your audience talks about you, it's a good idea to focus your activities there. Moving on, the next section displays mentions from the most influential social media authors. Influence is based on our algorithm, which considers the number of followers, mentions, and typical visibility percentage that an author has for their content. We also look at an author's share of voice. Share of voice basically tells you how large a role this author played in the total discussion containing your keywords. Next to that, you'll see a mention for most active social media authors, which lists authors based on how many times they've mentioned any of your keywords online. They may or may not be super influential, but they are the most active in generating discussions about your keywords. Next, we have the most active sites, which tells you where your keywords are being mentioned most often. Beside that is your list of most influential sites, which shows you which sites, the ones that have mentioned your keyword at least once, have the highest number of monthly visitors. Finally, there's the context of discussion. We collect every word in any mention containing your keywords and display the ones that appear most often right there, you know, excluding your actual monitored keywords, of course. The darker and larger these words appear, it means the more often they're being mentioned in relation to your monitored keywords. This helps you to see what people associate with your brand or the keywords that you're monitoring, so you can isolate PR incidents and find out what exactly all the buzz is about. Now you see what we can find in the Analysis tab, so let's visit some other features. Click on Summary from the sidebar on the left. The Summary tab gives you a quick summary of your data. You can see your most popular mentions. These are the mentions that have received the most likes, shares, and comments. And you can click on Latest Mentions to see the most recent ones. Next to that is the summary. You can see a couple line graphs for results or total number of mentions and social media reach. 
Your results are presented in 30-day cycles, so your current period refers to the last 30 days and the previous period refers to the past 30 days before that. Above the line graphs, you can see figures for results, social media reach, interactions, and positive and negative sentiment. The numbers in black refer to your results from your current period. The numbers or percentages in red or green refer to increases and decreases in your results since the previous period. Now scroll up and from the left hand side, click on sources. This is where you can find all of the authors that have mentioned your keywords. You can reorder and view them based on the number of times they've mentioned you, their social media reach, share of voice, influence, and influencer score. Just click once on any of those categories to view results in descending order and a second time to view them in ascending order. The source tab is useful because different campaigns have different goals and being able to view alternate sets of data can help you see if you're hitting different targets. Now let's go back to the left side of the page. Below the source tab, you can click on quotes. Do not underestimate the power of a good quote. This is especially helpful for PR departments. The Quotes tab shows you snippets of mentions that contain your keywords and help you find user-generated content like quotes and testimonials regarding your brand so you can use them in marketing or show them to your clients as social proof so they know they can trust your brand. Click on Positive to view positive quotes and click on Negative to view negative quotes. Last but not least is the Comparison tab. This is where you can track and compare various brands or products against one another. Click on Comparison from the left-hand side. To compare results for your brand with that of another, click on Compare Projects up top. Select the project that you want to compare with this one and click on Add. This puts both sets of data side by side for immediate comparison. As a business owner or brand manager, this is invaluable. You can see how much more brand awareness a competing brand has versus your own, as well as learn how much more positive or negative sentiment they may have compared to yours. And analyzing where on the web a competitor has stronger or weaker brand presence can present you with marketing, advertising, as well as customer service opportunities to build on. You can focus on channels where they're not as active if you do not want to compete with the same eyeballs. <laughs> You can make changes to your project at any time. All you have to do is scroll up and click on project settings from the menu on the left hand side. You can change your keywords, your required keywords, excluded keywords, the name of your project, the language that you're monitoring, or you can also remove your project altogether. The tabs along the top give you even more options. Click on sources to define from where the tool should be collecting mentions or block them. Go to notifications to set up email or mobile notifications. Just click on add more notifications and you can input an email address for receiving notifications. Decide how often they should be sent, whether any filters should be applied, or you can set how many mentions need to be collected in order to trigger any notification. You can get both email and mobile notifications or just one. Now click on reports to set up email reports. You can decide who receives the reports and how often. Additional sources lets you monitor mentions for individual TripAdvisor and Yelp profiles. All you have to do is copy the URL for the TripAdvisor or Yelp profile that you want to monitor and paste it inside the bar. Now, click on Facebook fan pages. Input the keyword that you want to monitor along with the URL for the Facebook fan page that you're interested in. Your project will track any mention of that keyword inside that Facebook fan page. So that's it for today. You now have a general idea of how social media and media monitoring works and what you can do with Brand24. Feel free to check out our knowledge base from our homepage or our Brand24 YouTube channel for tutorials on individual features anytime you need a refresher. Or you can click on that little chat icon from the bottom right hand corner of your Brand24 account to talk to someone directly from our help desk. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and listening and happy monitoring. Thank you.